driving out to kind of a field uh, behind a shopping center where we're going to actually build the tiny house. The tiny house won't be stay staying there because it's going to be on a, a, a trailer. So, but we've had a space donated, which has been very generous of the people, so that we do have a nice, secure place to build the tiny house. There are some issues, though, you'll see that needs to be mowed, and the gate is broken. So I have Dan there right now, and he is uh, fixing the gate. So one of the really, really cool things that I'm excited about is that we've had so much community support with this project and building this tiny house is that most of our materials have been donated. We are building the tiny house to help benefit Meals on Wheels. Uh, Meals on Wheels is Council Aging's largest program and we serve approximately 300,000 meals each year to home-bound, um, sometimes at-risk senior citizens. So this is to just help benefit that program. Hello, June. Hello, Shannon. How are you today? I'm very fine, thank you. We're getting the lawnmower out because we've got a lot of weeds back there. And we'll take you back there and show it to you. Wow, this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe a little bit more than um, we can do with a lawnmower. But we can bring out a weed whacker a lot of bricks so we'll, sticks. and sticks. That's it. Okay. See how the bricks and the sticks kind of rhyme? Yes. We may have to repair this fence. We've got some loose boards <laughs> and other fun things to find. So even though this is a little bit more than we thought for cleanup wise, we're still, it's so perfect for what we're going to be doing. It's, plenty large enough to build the tiny house. We're incredibly just so thankful for the donation of being able to use this space. Um, and really when you look at it, there's some cleanup and there's a little bit of fixing of the gates and the fences, but it's pretty minimal. So very, very happy with the space. I think it's gonna work absolutely perfect.